Hi, welcome back to HANA Developer Channel. My name is Srikant. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to access HDI container schema in Access Classic database. Also the other way, which is accessing Access Classic schema in HDI container. I'm going to give a little background to this topic. Since the introduction of Access Advanced in SP11, there have been continuous improvements in this product. There's going to be several migrations from Access Classics to Access Advanced in near future because of the benefits in Access A with microservices architecture and also the HDI container based developments, which makes the application deployments much easier than before. However, there's going to be a little bit more work in terms of security access, in terms of providing access to schema objects. This is because uh, the SysRepo user is not going to be the owner of all the objects in Access Advanced. It's going to be a technical schema created for the every HDI container database and, and the objects are owned by that particular technical schema. So today we're going to look at uh, how to provide or grant the access to objects in HDI container schema uh, into a different schema. For that, I'm going to show you three different use cases of granting access. I'm going to open a presentation. So in this presentation, I have three use cases which I'm going to talk about. The first use case is accessing HDI container schema in Access Classic. So here I have uh, Access Classic database, which contains my ERP schema and also native HANA schema. And I also have a new Access Advanced server installed and I started developing objects in, in the HDI container based schema. A technical user is created as part of the HDI container deployment and the technical, is, the technical user is going to own all the objects which are created in this particular HDI container database. So in this uh, scenario, I'm going to show you how to access the objects or the schema objects which are created in HDI container database if into Access Classic database. This is a very typical use case scenario where I would like to uh, do performance analysis or troubleshooting of certain objects which are part of the HDI container database in Access Classic database. So how I'm going to do this scenario is I'm going to access, grant access on the HDI schema to my Access Classic user and then I'm going to start using uh, the objects in my Access Classic database. I can display or I can insert all kinds of privileges on that particular schema to my Access Classic user. And my next use case is the other way, which is accessing Access Classic schema in HDI container database. So this is a very typical scenario. Uh, in my Access Classic, I've got ERP schema and native HANA schema. So I'll be start working in HDI container database schemas and then I may have to access the traditional Access Classic objects into my container-based developments. So in order to do that, I'm going to create a user-provided service and also synonyms for the objects which are owned by ERP schema or native HANA schema. So in this way, I don't want to, in this way, I can keep my Access Classic objects uh, as they are and also can access those objects in my HDI container database with the help of synonyms and then uh, keep proceeding with my deployments without affecting the existing uh, system. There's going to be another use case which is uh, accessing objects in two HDI containers. It's, it's typically uh, we have got two different projects set up with two different HDI container uh, setup has been done for two different developers. So in this case, I may have to access objects in one HDI container database to another HDI container database. So in order to do that, I'm going to use the same uh, procedure of creating user provider services and also with the help of synonyms, I'm going to access the database app objects in, from one container to the other container. So this is what we call cross container access between two different database containers. Uh, I'm going to start with uh, case one, which is accessing HDI container schema in Access Classic. 
Okay, now I'm going to access Web ID for HANA to show this demo. You can see I have my HXC project and I have a database module created in this project, HANA SDI, which was in, done in my previous video. I also have the database module here. I can see all the uh, HDI container database objects in this place. You can access all the tables can display the data. I have full privileges as a HDA container user on all these uh, schema objects. On the other side, I have my Access Classic database, which is uh, going to contain all the traditional schemas, system schemas, as well as your native database schemas, etc. So I'm going to access the HDI container database schema into my Access Classic. So that's my objective for this uh, session. By default, I cannot access the HDI container database objects into my Access Classic database. See, I cannot see the Access Classic database, sorry, uh, the I cannot see Access Advanced HDI container schema in my uh, Access Classic. So I'm going to uh, provide a, a, a grant access to the HDI container database schema uh, in Web IDE for HANA. So I'm going to access my Web IDE. I'm going to add a database. I'm going to remove uh, the previous one so that it's cleaner. So I'm going to add a new database, which is my um, the HANA database. It's going to be the system database, I'm going to use my user. I'm going to enter my password here. I'm going to name this as uh, uh, by the default. And then a database has been added here. You can see that all the catalog schemas from my Access Classic has been shown here. Uh, the database, what I show here, is different from what I, what I see here. This is uh, the HDI container database schema, and this is the Access Classic database schema. So I'm going to access all the objects which are part of this HDI container database schema into my Access Classic database. Uh, before providing the access to the Access Classic database user, I'm going to test whether I have the access to the tables or not. So I'm going to open a table from the HDI container. That's take the products table. Sorry, I'm going to open a SQL page. I'm going to take the products table. Uh, I'm going to do a simple select on this table. I can see that there is some data stored in this table and then I can ask access the data. So I'm in currently connected to the HDI container, uh, the HDI container. Uh, I'm going to execute the same statement uh, in my Access Classic database to test uh, I have the access to this table or not. So I'm going to run another SQL page. Uh, this time I connected to the system classical user. I'm going to run this one. I'm going to get an error which is insufficient privilege not authorized because the because the the my access classics uh, user does not have the access to the HDI container objects. Okay, now I'm going to provide or grant the access to access classic user. I have a sample. I have a, a simple uh, SQL statements which I already uh, have it in my. Um, Notepad. I'm going to run this SQL in in the HDI container database. So I'm going to open uh, admin SQL console this time uh, because uh, in, in admin SQL console I can grant the privileges on this technical schema to the other other schemas. So I cannot do that in Open SQL console, which is just to uh, run certain transactions on particular uh, HDI container schema or user. So I'm going to access OpenSQL console with admin. Then I'm going to uh, copy-paste the code which I have 
taken from my notepad and I'm going to run uh, I, I'm going to make sure uh, syntax is correct here going to get the schema I'm going to set the schema so uh, the schema the technical schema uh, which is going to own the HDA container objects or this this is the one so I'm going to run this screen to set this one and this is done I'm going to create a, a simple a local temporary column table to hold the privileges now it's done now I'm going to insert uh, all the privileges into the technical temporary table and then I am also saying uh, access should be given to my uh, classic database user I'm going to run these four SQLs in there it's done lastly I'm going to call as a procedure to provide or grant the access to my uh, access classic user It's done. So now I can go back to my Access Classic user and refresh the screen. And I'm going to open the schemas. I can see that uh, my new schema, which is the HDA container based schema available here in, in the list. So I can display all the tables which are part of the schema or I can uh, even go back to my previous screen which uh, where I connected to my system um, access classic database and then run this SQL now I'm getting uh, the data displayed I don't have any other issue now so I can access any objects with insert select and all the other privileges which I had granted now uh, on the uh, entire schema of my HDI container I can also revoke the uh, privileges which I just now granted to the uh, Access Classic user. So in order to do that, I'm going to access my admin console of the HDI container. I'm going to run the other procedure which was in the list. So I'm going to uh, run this, the other procedure to revoke my system access. I'm going to replace the schema with the right one. I was taking the default one. So I'm going to run it now. It's done. So now I'm going to check uh, the object uh, again. And I get an error, insufficient privilege, not authorized. So. Uh, now I successfully revoked the access on that particular schema uh, um, in Access Classic user. Now in my next example, I'm going to show you uh, providing or granting access to only certain objects with the help of roles. So in my previous example, I have granted uh, uh, entire schema access to Access Classic user. So it's very high level so I may wanted to restrict the access to certain tables or certain uh, any other objects in that particular schema of the HDI container so in order to do that in my next example I'm going to use a role to be created and then I build that role into the database and then I grant this role to uh, to the access classic user so this role may contain a table access or it may contain view access or only certain objects etc so I'm going to do that now I'm going to access my uh, workspace again I am going to uh, create a role I'm going to choose new a uh, file I'm going to name my role file as roles underscore HD um, dot HB role extension I'm going to copy paste the role definition from my notepad. I'm going to save this one. So in this role, I'm ac I'm accessing only um, the products table with select and insert, not accessing entire schema, only 
just these two, only just this table with select and insert access. Uh, I'm going to deploy this by build select files. The deployment has been completed, so the role is available to be granted to any other uh, schema user. Uh, which in, in my case, it is access classic schema user. So in order to do that, I'm going to uh, the database explorer. I'm going to access my SDI container schema with admin console. I already have it here, so I can open this. And then I'm going to copy paste uh, the code which I have in my notepad for granting this role um, to, to a Access Classic user. So I'm going to run these um, uh, steps. I'm going to create another local temporary table again. So done. I'm going to insert a statement here. And now I'm going to run my store procedure to grant the access to the access class schema. It's done. Now I'm going to access, I'm going to test uh, whether I have the access to this table or not. So I'm going to use the SQL console, which I already have it, and I'm going to run this now. Now I can see the data uh, in Access Classic uh, user. Uh, in order to test whether I have the access to other tables of HDI container, I can run uh, a select on the other tables. I can go and pick the other table and then run a select uh, to display the data from, 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 from those tables. So for that, I'm going to access my HDI container and then tables I'm going to bring in. Um, this time I'm going to get a, a, another table on the same schema and display this. I'm going to get another error, insufficient privilege not authorized. So which means I have the access to only the table which I have uh, given access in uh, with the role creation. So this way we can also restrict the user access um, the role uh, with the help of roles to any uh, level of detail. And um, similarly I can revoke the role access which I just now granted. So I can go to the SQL and then uh, run the process or the other procedure to revoke the access. So I'm going to run it now. It's done. Now I can test it. Uh, I should not have any access uh, to my Access Classic user. So in this way, uh, we can access access uh, advanced HDA container um, uh, schema objects in Access Classic uh, user. In order to get the sample codes, uh, actually in, uh, the codes, you can access the Git repository. Uh, where all the sample codes are uh, stored. So th that's the link. So this is the GitHub page link for HANA Academy. So you can uh, access the SQL console admin dot text file, which has the, uh, the syntax for providing and revoking the access. You can just replace your objects with the uh, with the objects uh, listed in this uh, document, and we should be good uh, to. To, to grant the access or revoke the access. Um, that's all for today. Um, we're going to see the other use cases of uh, accessing Access Classic objects into Access Advanced HDI container in my next video. I hope it is helpful. Um, thanks for watching this video and goodbye.